This is the very start of the first lecture of the spring 2014 version of Economics 2 at UC Berkeley. This is not a normal principle of economics course for three reasons. First, this is a one semester course. Virtually everywhere else, the principles of economics course is a two semester course. That means that we go fast. Second, this is the University of California at Berkeley. It is certainly the finest public university in the world. By some measures, it is the finest university in the world. Others could be in your seats. They would take advantage of the opportunities here. Don't waste your opportunity here. Moreover, the state of California is subsidizing all of you in-state students to the tune of $15,000 a year to help you get your education. The state of California is doing this in the belief that if it gets capable and well-prepared people an excellent education, they will then go on to do great things that will redound not only to their own benefit, but to the benefit of the state of California, of the country, and of the world. California is placing a bet on you. It's my job to try to help make sure that bet pays off. That bet will not pay off if you do not learn stuff. We go fast because this is a one-semester course. We go faster because this is the University of California at Berkeley, and you can absorb as much material as I can throw at you, and I owe it to the state of California to throw more material at you. Third, this is not Econ 1, this is Econ 2. You are supposed to be the hundred best prepared and most capable students who want to take principles of economics this semester. We have put your 700 peers in Econ 1 and taken the hundred of you and put you in Econ 2 out of the belief that you can go even faster than Econ 1 and do even more. Thus, there are three reasons for you to expect to work hard at this course. You must, that is, we have only one semester to do what other universities do in two. You can, that is, you are Berkeley students. And you definitely can because you're a selected top tranche of Berkeley students. Thus, you can and should learn a lot in this course, and it is my job to try to make sure that you actually do. Other things to note about this course? First, this is a lecture hall. We are using a pre-Gutenberg educational technology in our post-Gutenberg age. That is a process that is slowly shifting, but it will only shift at the margin for the purpose of this class. There is a course syllabus document for which you are responsible. Read it. There is a course policies document for which you are responsible. Read it. But I do not have time to go through them. Why well, don't have time? to go through them because of the reasons I set out on the previous two slides. There is a course website. I am going to maintain it in my own space on TypePad because I do not trust the B courses infrastructure that Berkeley is trying to develop, having not had good experiences with it earlier this month. There will be a course chat room available, however, on the UC Berkeley part of the World Wide Web. The Economics Department has an enrollment policy. It is, show up to the first section that you are assigned to in this course and make sure you are recorded as attending, or the Economics Department will automatically drop you from the course on the grounds that this course right now is oversubscribed and people who don't show up for the first section are voting with their feet not to have high priority. I am going to try to run a course email list for announcements. Therefore, please send me your preferred email to jbdelong at berkeley.edu. The mailing lists I get from the university are out of date and not always accurate, so please send it to me with Econ 2-Spring 2014 in the header 
and when I get a critical mass signed up, I will start using the email list to communicate further with you. Course meetings, if you don't know, the lecture is 4 to 5.30 in 101 Barker, Monday and Wednesday. You aren't here. And similarly, you know what section you're in, or you aren't going to be in the course. Materials you'll need for the course are Paul Krugman, Robin Wells, and various co-authors, Essentials of Economics, any edition, or in fact, any edition of their Economics Principles book as well. I'm not attached to the textbook monopoly with its high prices. I'm eager to break it. Um, any edition of Essentials will certainly be good enough for anything you need in this course. In addition to the textbook, I'm going to ask you to read three additional books, Partha Das Gupta's Economics, A Very Short Introduction, in the next week, and then from the right, Milton Friedman and Rose Director Friedman's Free to Choose, and from the left, Tom Slee's Nobody Makes You Shop at Walmart. You also are going to be asked to be read and write on further readings that will be sent out from time to time. And you must purchase, test, and register an iClicker. We are going to use iClickers in the, town, the class to get some feedback going in an attempt to move beyond the pre-Gutenberg structure by a small amount. For grading, there will be eight assignments, an introductory letter to your GSI, a final paper, and six problem sets. They will be counted at 3% of the final grade each. Add together 35% for the final, 25% for the midterm, 6% for lecture participation, mostly taken from the iClicker records, and 10% from section participation, and we have 100%. The anticipated median grade in this course is a high B. The idea is that people should get the same grade in this course, Econ 2, that they would get if they had taken Econ 1. People will work harder and learn more in this course than they would in Econ 1, and I don't think they should be penalized by getting a lower grade than they would have gotten. Your first assignment is, by the start of your next section, please write a 500-word essay, a letter of introduction to your GSI, discussing why you're choosing to spend 3% of your scarce college curriculum time taking this course this year, what you hope to learn, what you hope to do, and how this course feeds into that, whatever else about yourself that you'd like to share with your GSI, and please include or embed a photo. We need to recognize you by sight and to attach faces by names if this course is going to go as well as it ought to go. Also, before the first section, read Partha Das Gupta's Economics, a very short introduction, its prologue, which is online, and read and consider the possible discussion questions for Partha Das Gupta's Economics, also online, and also read as much as you can of the book. For Thursday section people, this may be a reach. For Monday section people, it will not be. Talking about Partha Descupta's view of what economics is, is going to be one of the principal things done in the first section. That is it for this introduction. Now on to the course proper.